we published a paper in ARD last year that showed that cartilage loss, at least in OAI, doesn't correspond well to pain worsening. And cartilage preservation doesn't correlate well with pain preservate with uh, no change in pain or with pain improvement. And it just the two are really very, very poorly related. Um, bone marrow lesions and synovitis, especially synovitis, um, correlate better with pain change. Um, and worsening synovitis seems to be correlated pretty well with pain change. And synovitis also uh, seems to increase the risk of cartilage loss. I, does that mean that synovitis is the sort of holy grail of the structural biomarker or the structural marker we need to use to, uh, to assess outcomes in osteoarthritis? I, I don't know that. I'm not sure the relationship is strong enough to, to, uh, to you know, to uh, rely on it heavily, I think. And the other issue, and, and it was one I sort of raised in the, well, hesitantly in the sign up, in the imaging uh, discussion earlier is the imaging folks are focusing still on cartilage and cartilage compositional stuff to, and synovitis and perfusion of the synovium, um, dynamic changes within that perfusion seem to explain a large percentage of pain change in at least one trial we did. And that makes a reasonable amount of sense. I don't know whether it can be corroborated in other studies um, and whether it's important in predicting structural outcomes. And I am as hesitant as some of the others who've talked about markers. I, I think there needs to be more data on this. But yeah, synovitis is a promising uh, imaging marker and bone marrow lesions are promising too, but maybe not at the current time quite as much as synovitis is. I actually agree with David Felsen. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he's going to pin this forever. It's being recorded. Um, I do agree with David Wilson, uh, uh, David Felsen that uh, inflammation and infl inflammatory markers seem to play a big role in terms of pain uh, prediction. For example, the phenotyping uh, stuff that Roma presented with the inflammatory pathway in the OAI and some of our results is actually showing that with the inclusion of the infl inflammatory metrics, pain as well as progression is faster. The unfortunate thing is though that with uh, OA, the prevalence of inflammation synovitis as well as bone marrow edema is very cyclical and you won't catch it in different times. It's, it's the natural history of it as such that you may not catch it all the time. In post-traumatic OA, it's most marked initially and then it disappears. So I think we need a greater understanding of that. And I, I, I really feel that I know we are focusing on pain and function, but I just want to point out that I could reduce your pain with inhibiting nerve function by ablating the gen genuine nerve uh, in your knee. But that does not mean that the mechanical onslaught isn't going to cause structural damage, which will require years down the road that you will just not be able to function and you will need a re knee replacement. So I really feel it's completely, it it's a very, very complex interaction of structure and function. And I don't think we can eliminate one or the other. <laughs>